over it like I used to like there are days honestly where I, I don't even eat enough because I'm just not obsessing over food I guess I'm thinking about better things now my food is not controlling me like I used to let it and I think just by us having to write down the stuff and getting in touch with the kinds of foods we can eat and the kinds of foods we can't eat and not being restrictive in the sense of you know counting calories because that really would freak me out mm -hmm. Pump this at your head. So you made out good with going out to dinner? Yeah, I did the um, royal flounder. I told them no salt, no butter. And they I, they didn't have... We had two um, vegetables, so I got fries for my daughter. Okay. And for me, I just said, give me a leaf salad. And I told them, I said, only put romaine in it and bread on it. Okay, that's and safe to say, but that could be free bloating from your period. Okay. Let's do your arms. I'm going down on a diet. I'm on a quest to change my life. I saw this guy on TV saying, you know, you can go on and off a diet, but this is not a diet. It's a whole lifestyle change. It's got me thinking about how I'm eating and my relationship to food and what I should be putting in me that I wasn't putting in me before. And it's funny because even as I was sitting around the restaurant, I'm looking at people just drowning their food in salad dressing. I don't want to do that anymore. You know, I don't even, it's weird, I don't even like food without the stuff I was putting on it. So it's weird, I'm not really a foodie, I guess I'm a condiment tea. Because those are the things that I miss. I was missing the dressings and the and the butters and all that. And I don't even want to put that on me anymore. Because my, my best friend, who's a dancer, I was talking to her about this program. And she was like, you know what? I don't do butter. She said, you know what that butter does for me? It puts cellulite on my calves. And she's a dancer. I mean, cellulite to her, for us, we'd be like, please. But it's relative. You know, and it's like, you know what? Maybe that's what naturally thin people do. They make good choices. And that's what I need to do. As a child, I could eat all that crap and get away with it. I'm like, I'm dumb now. And why do I want a donut? What is a donut? You know what I mean? Why would you want to put all that crap in you and then you gotta spend all that time working it off? That's crazy. That's wasting your life. Basically the last to go. But you're doing great. I'm excited. Look, you started at 257.6 and that was before your binge days. So typically on your binge days, your weight goes off. You yeah, weigh yourself at home, I'm sure. It, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you said it went to 260. So you're down to 238.2 and that's with all your clothes on and everything. You're doing great. That's so exciting. I'm so proud of you. Do you have any questions? Oh, wow. No. Well, just the dryness. That's the first of me. Right. It feels like it's on fire. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and you drinking plenty of water? That's one thing. I need to get my water. Okay. okay. Just make sure you're drinking plenty of water. And it could be related to your period. Well, yeah. Yeah. And I haven't had one in three years. So. Right. That could, it could be 100% related to that. It wouldn't be from any of the um, products because they're all natural. Okay. All right, congratulations. 